I don't know, not my, not my son. And I know a lot of young people don't want to have anything to do with that. It's like throwing your life away. Wow. That would be uh, Marjorie Taylor Sporkfoot saying how uh, going into the United States military is throwing your life away. Yeah. yeah. That seems, um, what's the word, patriotic, doesn't it? Uh, the opposite. We have to keep running with that talking point. D- deeply un-American. They are yeah. deeply un-American. They root for Putin. They root for supply chain and worse inflation by uh, what Abbott's doing at the border, backing up trucks. I, they are just... Thank you. Green, green, she's Marjorie Green. She is the mayor of Crazyville. Oh, dear God. Okay. Uh, I think the question that has popped to my head, it does John Jr. share his Coke with uh, Senator Coke here? Senator Coke orgy, Marsha Blackburn. <laughs> In the traffic copter? Allegedly. Yes. Maybe Cokey that's with, how she got it. Oh, someone Coke did hair. a graphic of uh, s- Fisty and Bitchy in the morning with Coke hair in the traffic copter. Yeah. What I... Oh, what I... Oh, good. Good Senator, Co- Senator Coke hair in the copter. Good buddy, everybody. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, Don Jr., I, I, I don't know. Fear monger, fear monger, something, something, just kids. I... Until we do something about it, give parents the ability to do something about it. It's over for our kids, for their future, for their education, okay? Uh, There is no need to get into this level of detail of sexuality with young kids. There's probably not a need to get into this level with much older kids who can actually understand it. Again, if you're so desperate that you need to do this, you got to think there's a reason behind it. And honestly, the only reason I can think of is that you're literally trying to indoctrinate and groom these children. Okay, so this is the new... uh, Grooming. Yes, grooming is the new... Marsha Blackburn does not want to talk about grooming. Can I just say? If someone uses... If someone were not acquainted with cream rinse, I think they could hold off. If someone accuses me of grooming, I'm going to clock them. Okay. Seriously. Okay. Yeah, speaking of uh, fascism, an Indiana man is once again can go to his local public library after a federal judge ruled a ban for life issued against him because of a poem he wrote is unconstitutional. He's a, a He wrote an anti-Trump poem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. And it was called The Red Mean... And, I mean, this is what fascism feels like, right? Uh, The poem reads, No, no good. Bring out your dead. Let them eat cake. Off with your head. Before you become Donald Trump clone, no, Satan's reward is only alone. Liars are losers. Haters are cruel. Oh, what a pity to die such a fool. That's that's fine. Uh, Okay. It's... And, uh, wait a minute. He was banned from the yes, library for yes, what? Yes, for life. And, right, yeah. they called the police. I mean, this is, I just, are you on a daily basis, like the hair yeah. in the back of your neck stands up, whether it's a, right, the arresting science. women for I hope the ACLU is, is taking this case. Right. Because this is a slam dunk for yeah, the ACLU. Yeah, they did. No, they okay. did. Good, and that's good. why he's okay, good. reinstated. He got, got, because he got his library got card back. Okay, yeah. But good. every day is just, uh, you're like, uh, this is why I feel like we need fun stack now. I need fun stack okay. now. Before I play Kristen Cinema or Donald Trump sound bites. Oh, God. We have Kristen I need an amuse bouche. And there's a moose bouche made of whale penises. Okay. How? Blind you with science. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> science! An ecology professor theorizes that the Loch Ness monster may just be uh, a whale penis. You know that my lifelong dream has been to, uh, that would be, I want a funny death at least. Yeah, and that woman that was uh, crushed to death by a whale penis during mating season. She yeah. was on a whale watching boat yep. during it, mating season, and it and it breached and yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right. It yeah, come her. on, try to keep a straight face during that funeral, right? That like chuckles, <laughs> chuckles the, clown, the clown, like made of yes. whale penises, right? <laughs> okay. a little song, a little dance, yeah, a little whale penis in your pants, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> An ecology professor has come up with theory about the Loch Ness monster uh, that Nessie is not a monster at all, but just a whale penis. Uh, she said many uh, sea monster stories reported by explorers were inspired by what they called tentacled and alien-esque appendages emerging from the water. Oh, we're getting into tentacle porn now. Yes, but okay. while many of the observers may have believed the appendages breaking the ocean surface might be part of something more sinister lurking beneath, she said in many cases it was just whale Lo- she hears the D term. Uh, can, can I? Can it's I, just a bag of whale I, Ds. Point of order. Yeah. Loch Ness is not the ocean. Oh, that's true. That's a, It's in a lake, isn't it? The Loch Ness a, a monster? Lock, a loch is Scottish yeah. for lake. So yes. it's freshwater penis right. is what you're saying. It's, it's not uh, whales ocean don't, penis. Not freshwater whales, whales. whales. There are no freshwater whales. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what I, I was know. trying to It's just I story. will take any story that is about whale penis because I'm obsessed. <laughs> Even ones that make no sense at all. No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Ron in <laughs> Sacramento. And they say we don't cover the hard news. Yeah. Hey! hey, hey, hey. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Hi, Ron in Sacramento. Hello. 
Hi, Mama. I have a question for the smartest boy in class, Chris Lavoie. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Sounds like a trap, yeah, but go ahead. <laughs> Okay, my, well, my question is, I wear steel toe boots at work. <laughs> Do you think that Sporkfoot has difficulty finding a steel toe high heel shoe? I think she does. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yes. You are so <laughs> immature. I don't I, know where you get that sort of thing well, from, she Ron. she better not wear an open-toed uh, flat. <sighs> if she wears oh, the open toe, oh, she can use them to eat. <laughs> exactly. Mama, I yes. have one more question, if I could. Yes. Uh, I, know you, I know your staff is always busy, but staff. could you maybe get a... Get a bunch of the dumbest things that Sporkfoot and Lauren Bobert said, and then yeah. play it underneath dueling banjos. Okay. All right. Hey, staff, get statement. on that. All right. Well, sounds like a lot. Hey, guys, have they a good would day. Like, they would like, like some more odd jobs. Sounds like a lot that. of work. We'll hey, staff. <laughs> By the way, for all the stupid things they said, we would need the extended remix of dueling banjos. Yeah. The dance mix. Yeah. All right. Deedly, 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 deedly. We do play the dumb. I mean, because they say dumb. Every day, so we do play it every it's not day, hard. unfortunately. It's okay. like there's always something. Hey, staff. I just love that you refer to these two. These two as staff. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. <laughs> We're the most okay. insubordinate staff that's ever right? lived. Right? Right. <laughs> I don't think staff routinely calls you the C word. <laughs> okay. on Tuesdays. All right. Now I'll... St oh, I, in a completely unrelated story, here's a Kristen Cinema soundbite. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here's uh, about how she's going to uh, uh, build back better, which Joe Manchin has been talking to the White House again about. Uh -huh. But she's here just because you know how it is, Chris. She's a maverick. Oh, yeah. She's eccentric and quirky, and you never know what she's going to do. Pew, pew. You never know what kind of hair she's going to show up with. Or what Have kind of we talked to um, <laughs> future Senator Ruben Gallego, Gallego. Gallego about this lately? Gallego. Hmm. Okay, there she is. Those of you who've known me for a long time know that you should never make predictions because you just end up looking dumb. Um, and I try to avoid that. Because you're a maverick. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. You're so but what I can tell you is, as all of you saw, throughout the course of last summer and fall, mm. I negotiated in good faith directly with President Biden and with leadership in both the House and the Senate on what was, at the time, a proposal for Build Back Better. And I had a couple guiding principles that still guide yeah. the work that I am doing today. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost is that I will only support tax policies that promote growth mm. and economic um, stability, particularly during a time of coming through this pandemic, mm. rising inflation, and what we think is a coming recession. Uh, yes, she reassured business leaders about higher taxes as the White House and Joe Manchin are seeking to resuscitate Build Back Better. So she has to be a giant <laughs> walker because... Mm -hmm. She's quirky and eccentric. She's going to need to do that from the fashion bug at Chris Town Mall. Yes. Please. So I am unwilling to support mm. any tax policies that would put a break on that type of economic growth or, yeah. or okay. stall business and personal growth um, for America's industries. So I retain um, that position. Mm. Everyone knows it. Mm. Uh, some people aren't happy about it, mm. but that's mm -hmm. my position. Mm. And so if conversations do start again, which I'm not sure if they will or not, um, I'll be bringing that position back into the negotiations. Mm. 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 Okay. I got a position you can bring back. Okay. Oh, I'm I did sorry. Stick her I'm sorry. She sticks in my craw. I'm all just a her up. I'm going to ask for stuff, weird stuff in different colors and sizes that will take her all day to... As the fashion consultant. Speaking of the fashion experience, bugs. just ask for anything a size 13 shoe. They can never find them. Yeah. <laughs> they can never find that in the women's section. All right. It's uh, so hard to shop for my mom. All right. <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait a minute. Your mom has a size 13 foot? Women's size 13? She Are does? You, you're just dropping this information. Oh my God. Now? Really? No, she does not. Yeah. Your mom's a Sasquatch. You know how hard it is? She's six feet tall. She's not that tall. She's six feet I tall. I thought she was as tall as Stephanie really? when I She's saw them at the taco six, line. No, when I used tall. her as a battering ram to get to the front of the buffet, I knew she was a you know a sturdy woman. But size thirteen? Feet? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Could she? She can go snowshoeing without snowshoes, can't she? <laughs> That'd be. I'm a men size thirteen. Those would have come in handy if you grew up in Buffalo like I did. Come here, baby Travis. Oh, you can't find any galoshes that big. Wow. Let's just all digest the fact that we have just learned Wait, what, how that Travis Bone's mother is six this? feet tall and has th th size 13 feet. You never asked how big my mom's feet were because you don't have a foot fetish. Wow. Well, oh, you're a tall not... drink, so who put the star on top of the Christmas tree? Was your dad tall? He was six feet tall. Okay, so you're six, he's, sorry, the same size. He's 5'11". He's 5'11". Oh, so, so he's you're, one you're inch four. shorter than your mom. You're 6'4". Six six four, four, but uh -huh. well, my mom's dad was 6'3". 
her uncle, her mom's brother. Are you sure that's your dad? Are you sure that's your dad? Yes. Is that what she told you? Yeah. Okay. Got the DNA. She might have done something on a trip to the Yukon. No. (laughs) Got the DNA to prove it. (laughs) You're Yukon Cornelius' son. (laughs) (laughs) Woohoo!